So this is week two of us in Yangon and in Myanmar. And the second week we're gonna be helping out the shelters, but mainly at Golden Heart Shelter. And week one was a very successful week, wasn't it? Mm. We got our main goal done, which was to build an extra enclosure for paralyzed dogs and old dogs. And so the remainder of this week, we're gonna just try and keep going with the tidying, any sterilizations we can do. Hopefully tomorrow there's gonna be dogs Sterilise the Dalmatians. We want to say a big thank you to Dr. Amy Schroff for buying us the puppy milk replacer and also the bottle with the small nozzle for the newborn puppy um, who is in here, who's unfortunately not suckling from the mother. You're okay, sweet girl. She's such a good mother. So you can see the size difference. You've got this, these three big ones and then this tiny little runt so this one is the one that's not suckling, so we've got her some milk replacer to fatten her up a little bit. And also, again, a huge thanks to Dr. Amy Schroff for donating these medications for the dogs here at Golden Heart. Here again, day two, week two, we're back at Golden Heart to help more, a bit more tidying. Good news on the little suckling puppy here. So today we've got good news. The newborn puppy that had stopped suckling has now started to suckle again. We've been giving her sub Q fluids and she's seeming to get some more energy back. Yeah, this is great news today. Mama's making sure she's okay. Today we are having a day off of being at the shelter because we're quite shattered by now because it's very hot, we've been travelling a lot. So anyway, on this day off we are coming to do some more shopping for cleaning products and other things that can help the shelter. So we're picking up this scraper majobi which is going to scrape up the poo, hmm. that dry poo. Two squeegee mops for cleaning to help clean, especially with the disabled. Um, they don't have to use as much water as they do. Okay, so we have a few more days left in Myanmar. Um, yesterday was our day off. Today we're not feeling very well, but we're just outside Golden Heart. We've got our cleaning supplies that we bought yesterday. We've just bought two buckets as well. And we'll see, we're a little bit later today, so we'll see how much cleaning they've done. Probably zero and do some cleaning and giving love to the dogs. See you in a bit. Hi, 
It's your babies. What? Okay, so our first thing we did this morning was check on the newborn puppy that wasn't suckling. And she and another sibling passed away yesterday morning. So mum has got two puppies left. Hello. So these two girlies got spay yesterday and they're back from the vets today. Hello. <laughs> and this is the third girly that was spay yesterday. Seems very happy today. <laughs> this is what the new paralyzed enclosure looks like before it's being cleaned. <laughs> And this is what it looks like when it's all clean. I think this took us about two hours today to clean. So we have sweated like crazy today, doing cleaning and some other bits and bobs. And we're just about to leave and they called us over to come and see what they're doing with the cats. I believe they're gonna be deworming them. journey from downtown Yangon which is where we're staying to Golden Heart Animal Rescue is around 30 kilometers. Usually it takes us around an hour to an hour and a half if traffic is good but like today the traffic was not good we've been on the bus for over two hours so we haven't showered or anything we're going straight for dinner and we're taking you to our favorite dinner place. Mangala bar! <laughs> This is the Taj Indian restaurant. It's all vegetarian. Um, most of it can be made vegan. And it's not too far from Sully Pagoda and we come here every single night. And every single night we order the same thing, the vegan tani set. It's so good, it's so fresh every single day. And every day it's different. This is the tali set. It comes with chapati, rice, three different things which change every time. Pickle, papadam, samba and chutney. <laughs> nom nom nom. Puppy. Hi puppy! Hi puppy! <laughs> Hello puppy! So this is Dinosaur. She has my heart. She is so special. She was buried alive when she was a small puppy, which has caused this damage here, but she can still walk around. She is the sweetest little girly. So the vet is here today and he is sterilizing five dogs which is costing roughly $60, $65 for all five dogs to get sterilized which is incredible and there was a two Dalmatians done yesterday. Yesterday, oh and another female stray were spayed yesterday and they came back this morning but then this morning another two female Dalmatians went to the vet to be spayed as well and they'll be coming back tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's a productive little day actually. Okay, this is 
our last day of coming to Golden Heart Animal Rescue. We just had another very long bus journey. But today I am in different clothes. <laughs> and I just want to confirm that yes, I've been wearing the same clothes every single day whilst coming to the shelter, but I have been washing them every single night. And because we are minimalist travelers, we don't have a lot of clothes that we can get dirty. Also, yesterday we started paying off the receipts that we were getting for the sterilizations. The great thing is that the paralyzed enclosure that we got built was actually something like $300 cheaper than we were quoted. So we've actually got $300 spare. I think it's $300. Yeah. So we're actually going to be saving that money, continuing to fundraise because the next priority for Golden Heart is the drainage. We're still waiting on a quote, but that's what we're going to be fundraising for next. So on the last day of being here, we have been gifted some yummy, yummy jackfruit and it smells so sweet. We've been wanting it for ages and we, we sometimes see it on the streets so and it's always covered in plastic, but now we have fresh and plastic <laughs> <laughs> and dinosaur. <laughs> Sweetest girly. Dinosaur, 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 dinosaurs. Oh. <laughs> Today we're getting down and dirty. We're doing the drains. And there's dinosaur. <laughs> we have unclogged all of the poo from these drains and we're placing it into this wheelbarrow dumping it away from the paralyzed area but we're sweating buckets and it smells glorious they also gifted us some watermelon and some pennywort and mint i think as a gift so lovely with a hammer on his head and then a big iron spear shoved in him. Do you see? It's beautiful. So, a man hit a very sharp knife and then he took it here and then he pulled his pen. That's his, his hand. two weeks back in Myanmar. It's been a long, hard little graft for us, but it's been successful. Very worth it, Very so, so worth it. As you've seen in both of these vlogs, both week one and week two, we've been solely concentrating on Golden Heart Animal Rescue, which is where we decided to put most of our efforts because we believe that this is the shelter in Myanmar that needs the most help. Not saying that other shelters don't need help because they do, but this is the one that we felt necessary at this moment in time is the one that needed our input and our funds that we could raise the most. And because we've been working here for the last couple of weeks we've really seen the hard work and passion that the staff here put in. I know that it's quite messy everywhere, they've got a long way to come but their hearts are in the right places. They really do care about the protection of street animals and also the quality of life for their dogs in the shelter. 
we talk to the founders a lot about the threat to the animals on the street, especially there's a huge amount of obviously car accidents here, general abuse, poisoning. And also with the abuse that we have seen in Myanmar and seeing the dogs in the shelter where they've come from in their past, the abuse is crazy. Like it's more than we've seen in the rest of Asia. Just severe abuse. I think it's just we can see it much clearer here. And there are so many dogs in Myanmar. So that could be why we're seeing more and more abuse because there are so many more dogs. We have really, really enjoyed our time here. We are gonna be carrying on fundraising because we would like to come back and help this shelter even more. There's still many things that they need help with. So if you would like to donate, just get in touch with us. And also, what was I gonna say? We just want to say another huge thank you to everyone that donated and supported us. We literally could not have done this without you guys. Um, so thank you so much. Without your help, we couldn't have supplied these guys with the things that they really needed. Yeah. And if you are watching this, thank you to Golden Heart for yeah. letting us come and letting us be a part for a couple of weeks. Yeah, we love you guys and we really appreciate what you're doing. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Right, okay. So thanks for joining us on this adventure. Yeah. Thanks thank you again for your hardship. support. Yeah, thank you for the support always and forever. Yeah. And until next time, Myanmar. Bye. Peace.